I'm Shanae, and this is my crazy family. After getting sick postponed our plans a couple weeks ago, Bowie is actually starting preschool this week. With more free time on our hands than we've had in three years, we're getting time for a little TLC and finally moving ahead with decorating Baby Boy's nursery. Excited to show you guys the process as it unfolds, so make sure you join the fam and subscribe. If you watched a couple weeks ago, you know it was supposed to be Bowie's first week of school, which ended up getting postponed because she was not feeling so well. But today is the day. You ready for school? Are you excited? Oh my goodness, can you show your backpack? Ooh, look at the shark backpack. Oh my goodness, she's so ready. She's been screaming, I'm going to school all morning. Everybody's gonna have a nice day, right? <laughs> Bye. Yes, it's happening, it's happening. Oh my goodness, it's happening. She's gone. She's there. <laughs> we dropped her off. And she was like, bye! Like, did not, there was no, <laughs> did not bat a lash at any of it. She was just so excited, wasn't yeah. she? I thought she would do that. Yeah, so did I, but it made me feel better. So now we just have time. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Interior, garage, door. We have the nursery makeover transformation happening in a little bit. So in the meantime, to work or to self-care. I looked at my to-do list on my phone and was like, do, 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 do. hold up, I want to take this time to do a little self-care for myself. Thank you to Kenzie for sponsoring this and also thank you for creating my new favorite little magical wand. Okay, it's not an actual magical wand, but it feels like a magical wand for grown-ups because it's a microdermabrasion handset that's really easy to use and does wonders for your skin. I already washed my face. You can see the steam still going in my background right now because I also did a little steam. My face is feeling so fresh, so clean, and clearly so in need of some love. I've been using this for about a month. It's incredible. I use it once a week and I'm gonna tell you guys all about it. Basically, it gently exfoliates your skin. It's a non-invasive treatment. It helps reduce inflammation, as well as breakouts and stuff like that, both of which I clearly have. Um, you can see in all the redness in my skin, that's inflammation, and then I've got little spots everywhere because breakouts are so fun during pregnancy. You can't use a whole lot of topical products during your pregnancy to combat these issues because you gotta be very careful about what you are putting on your skin. This device is totally safe because it's not invasive. It doesn't penetrate into your skin or soak into your bloodstream or anything like that, obviously. So this is my preferred choice of exfoliation. It comes with three different diamond encrusted heads. The first one is the microcrystalline tip. This is great for exfoliation. It removes all the dead skin cells. Then we've got this little guy that is on here right now. I actually use this, I mean, more than once a week, just whenever spots pop up. It's the blackhead and whitehead remover. This extracts blackheads and whiteheads from your face as they arise. And then lastly, it's got this wide tip right here. This is to promote blood circulation and collagen production in your skin. So I'm gonna start by swapping out my tip. And I'm gonna start with the microcrystalline just to do some all over exfoliation before I get into the nitty gritty of extractions. Ooh, hello, putting on a show. Okay, <laughs> ready to go. As you saw, I already steamed my face. You can use a facial steamer. You don't have to use a facial steamer. You can honestly use steam that's just created from boiling water in a pot. You could use a hot towel. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. Just trying to open up those pores basically for like five to 10 minutes prior to using the device is really helpful. It has four different levels of suction, but you should definitely start on level one. That's where I'm still currently at because I do have really sensitive skin. So I'll probably just hang out at level one. But if you need to increase the suction level over time as your skin gets used to it, then go ahead and do that. All you do is simply click this button once, twice, three times, four times to keep going up in levels and then 
last one is off. So starting at the bottom of your face, you just wanna pull your skin taut and lightly glide it across your skin, moving in an upwards direction. You can already see that that got the blood of my face flowing and going, which is a good thing. Now I'm gonna move on to the extraction. For the blackhead remover, I just focus on my nose mainly because that's where most of my blackheads are unless I see like one random one pop up on my cheek or on my forehead or something like that. Like this is already <laughs> TMI. So like, I won't show you what is happening on the inside of this head right now, but let me just let you know, it's working. I say on number one for the microcrystalline tip, but for the blackhead and whitehead remover, I bump it up a notch. Okay, so the areas to treat for fine lines and wrinkles are the obvious places, your forehead, your frown lines, or whatever you call that area. You can do your crow's feet as well. So I'm just gonna stick to those go-to areas. Like I said earlier, with the wider oval tip, you're promoting blood circulation and collagen production. So your face is gonna get a little bit red. That's good, that's normal. It means that it's working. Same idea, you just wanna move everything in a gentle, smooth, gliding motion on the areas that you wanna work out those fine lines and wrinkles. You got that healthy blood flow going. Everything feels super smooth. Ready to apply a cold towel to just close up all my pores and make sure I'm not getting them clogged right back up right away. Once I do that, I can then move on to apply moisturizer and stuff like that. But before I do any of that, I gotta clean out these tips. After every single use, you're gonna wanna remove the suction tips from your device and clean them with warm, soapy water. You can finish that off with an alcohol-based disinfectant. Use a cotton bud or a small brush to get any hard to reach areas. And this is just gonna prevent bacteria buildup and prolong the life of your tips. It also comes with a handy dandy USB charger. So just make sure to charge it up so that the next time you wanna use it, it's ready and good to go. Woo! Oh my goodness. That felt so good. You guys, having one of these microdermabrasion <laughs> devices at home is literally like having a facial in your bathroom. It's crazy because I feel like that is like the one elevated step of getting a proper professional facial that I had been missing so much. I haven't had a facial in like two years now. Um, COVID, lockdown, you know what I mean? And you can do all of the masks and peels and all of that kind of scrubs and whatever at home, but that thing gets in there. My complexion is just glowing and fresh. Everything is so smooth. It's gonna make makeup application really nice. Make sure that all my products get absorbed properly into my skin. Feels amazing. Anyway, if you wanna try out this Kenzie device on your own, make sure you use my code and click the link in my video description below to grab one. The at-home microdermabrasion handset from Kenzie is normally $189, which is already basically the price of a decent facial, but my code will get you $50 off, making it that much more affordable. Affordable. I love it. I don't know. I, I love it. And I'm probably gonna buy one for like every female in my life. And guys too. I feel like this is gonna be like my go-to Christmas gift for everybody. Oh, that felt so good. And it wasn't interrupted at all. <laughs> like such a weird feeling to just have these hours to myself now. I swear I will be productive at some point today, but I'm kind of feeling this little self-care kick that I'm having at the moment. So I might, might just dye my hair and touch up my roots because we've got a busy afternoon of making over the nursery. The room transformation is gonna be well underway this afternoon. So I might just indulge myself a little bit longer. Somebody's home. Somebody's home. Oh my goodness, who could it be? Oh. Hello. Oh. <laughs> oh. I see friends. You saw friends? Did you have fun? I played babies. You played with babies? And she said one of the friends was trying to make her have a cigarette, didn't you? Stop. <laughs> Yeah. Did you miss me? Oh, I missed you. Daddy got food, didn't he? <laughs> Hello. Oh, such you're girl. such a big girl. <laughs> she had two fights and smoked four cigarettes. So I think it was a success for preschool. They said she did amazing. They couldn't believe that she's never been apart from us ever. And you did so good, and you did some painting. 
Ding. They said she was so good, she probably never has to go back. <laughs> if daddy had his way. Well, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> they said you've learned so many daddy skills that Aww. you could just be a daddy. I'm so wow. proud. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> you saying old McDonald had a farm? Uh -huh. Are you excited to go back again? Uh -huh. Yay! Forgive the hair dye in my hair and the band-aid on my, sorry, finger. But we're gonna paint the baby's room today. Today is the day. I'm so sweaty. Our, you are so sweaty. He just got back from a run. I've got hair dye in my hair. It's a good looking morning for us. But our painter just arrived. Show them, she wants He's to, bring, she's trying to oh, show them Oh, you gonna Selena. show them baby Selena? Baby Selena! Brent's here to help us paint. Sweaty, it's gonna be a team yeah, effort today. Josh is the help. So I started the caulking process last night just to see if I could do it. And it took me, not a word of a lie, an hour to just do this section. <laughs> and Brent is just coming in here like it's no big deal. Obviously I should just leave these things to the professionals. Josh is the assistant today and started taping down all of the baseboards. And Bobby decided to help. <laughs> I think we're gonna leave her tape on for texture. Yeah, you know, it's gonna add a little character. When I asked her if she was gonna help paint the room, she said, yep, she was gonna paint cookies on the walls. Okay. <laughs> so I was like, okay. <laughs> Daddy, the bar is not. You want me to get it off? <laughs> There you go, I designed it. Josh did a whole lot of the heavy lifting. Still on his hands and knees cleaning it all up. But you did a really good job, Baba. With Brent. With Brent, of course. Looks so good with that light fixture. It looks so good. Slowly starting to come together. It really is, it's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> All right, done I think. Mop the floors, vacuumed, put all the paint and stuff away. Sinead is happy, Bowie is happy, and uh, that is the big chunk of painting done. Oh, it's all the painting done in my boy's room. Do you like it? I love it. Sick. Sick. So mom is going fishing today. I'm bringing a chair, because I don't know how long I'm actually gonna last. Let's go, daddy's getting the worms right now. He's just getting them from our backyard. Hopefully, he finds something. Oh, did you find a sweet spot? Nice. 
they've been fishing twice already without me and caught no fish. So maybe third time's a charm. I'll be the lucky charm. We'll see. <laughs> Got back from another unsuccessful fishing trip. Turns out I was not the lucky charm that they needed. And we are gonna look at the nursery wall for the first time on fresh eyes. We really haven't looked at it since yesterday when it got all finished. So I'm gonna check it out, let's see what we think. Uh, Happy with it? Yeah. So nice. Just a shout out to Brent, Jack of all trades. Obviously that's irrelevant to you if you live anywhere outside of the Nashville mm -hmm. area, but if you do live in the Nashville area, we're just gonna put a link to his website. In the video in the description. description, yeah. If he has a website, otherwise, whatever. His Facebook? Yes, I think he uses Facebook. Facebook. He's old school, but <laughs> I'd love to take all the credit for this, but I honestly can't. I did have a lot of help from Brent. <laughs> Wish me luck. Can't even get my shoes clipped in. I feel like I'm definitely pretty close to being too big to do this anymore. Why do you look great? I can't get it in. I can Not say yet. a joke here. Too pregnant for dirty jokes. Never too pregnant for dirty jokes. I guess pregnancy is probably a really good time for dirty jokes. Yes. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh my God. The combo of being like 30 weeks pregnant and the humidity in this garage now that summer has finally arrived is a lot, guys. This bike has been my saving grace. Spin classes are my favorite. This has been my go-to exercise in my pregnancy, and I'm sure it will be postpartum initially as well. It's not the Peloton. <laughs> I have the Peloton app on my phone, so I use that to actually do the classes. But this bike is less than half the price of the Peloton bike. And then, like, I don't know if this is, this is a hack that I just found looking on the internet because I was like, damn, Pelotons are so expensive. I'll also link my shoes because they're like the cutest spin shoes I've ever seen before. So, not sponsored, just great hacks that took me a lot of digging on the internet to find. Anyway, enough rambling. I just got a really exciting delivery in the mail. Um, I'll show you guys what it is in a couple of minutes after I shower because I stink. The delivery that I'm really excited about is some seedlings. I ordered them online, guys. <laughs> That's where I'm at. That's the kind of gardener that I am. But seriously, I wanted strawberries at the very beginning of all of this and I couldn't find them in my little local nursery and I wanted butter lettuce and I also couldn't find that. So my arugula has bolted beyond um, saving. This is my arugula. So when it starts flowering like this, it's basically nature's way of telling you that it's no longer in season. And I tried to stay ahead of it, but I can't. So I'm just gonna snip off as many of the leaves as I can to make a really beautiful salad, probably for dinner. And then I'm gonna dig these puppies out and plant some butter lettuce and strawberries. And I'm really excited about it. I don't even know if those will last they're in season but can we also just update you on this situation so we put a little one of these like cages i guess you want to call it a cage for the cucumbers because they started blossoming so much and they're a viney plant i've got my first tomato babies coming out and then my jalapenos are almost almost big enough to start harvesting i probably could pick that off and eat it but i want them just to get a little bit bigger so anyway the only ones that are underperforming here are the arugula my gardening partner is joining me. 
There he is, ladies and gentlemen. So he's gonna get his hands dirty because I actually don't even have gardening gloves for him. I barely fit in this little cage Out. shop area anymore. Out, man. You ready to get your garden on? We all. We all. You're left with nothing. You're no See you later, Aguiluli. Aguiluli. See you later. Oh, look at those jalapenos coming in absolute fire. Yeah, get some plant food fertilizer in here. Chili, 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 chili. Oh, add it into the mix. most definitely a storm on the way. It's coming in from the east. Just made that up. But I've heard people saying it sounds pro, so that's what we're gonna go with. It's coming in from the east. These little seedlings are way smaller than I thought they were gonna be. <laughs> Gotta space them out appropriately. It's raining. Uh-oh. Oh wow, that, that storm that came from the east is coming from every direction now. Wow! The camera's getting really wet, so it's a piece from us in the garden right now. Take it inside. Taking it inside. Anything to say? Bye, wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs> Delay. <laughs> Rained delay big time. I got the strawberries in, like just. I'm gonna have to go and check on those when this stops, but the lettuce isn't happening today. That's gonna have to happen tomorrow morning or something. I'm freezing. I'm so keen wet. And Bowie's trying to shut us out in the storm. See you guys in the morning once the rain passes. <laughs> Good morning. It is still raining. <laughs> I don't know if this is actually gonna get completed today until the rain stops, cause I'm not getting on my hands and knees and all this mud. So this is what I did yesterday. <laughs> Look at the little baby strawberry plants. I actually got them in pretty good considering I was getting soaked. So that worked out, but I'm not gonna get the lettuce in until I'm not getting wet anymore. Let's see what Josh is doing. Baba, I can't, <laughs> I can't finish planting until the rain stops. What are you doing? It's coming home, isn't it? Oh. So I'm getting ready. If you know, you know, it's coming home. The evolution of the Free Lions badge. This is a classic. That is a classic. It's a classic, right? It? Just for a little um, context, I yeah. know that it's coming home for sure. It is coming home. And you've also been saying that for the entire duration of our nine year relationship. I've been saying it for the entire duration of my life. I've <laughs> been saying it since 1996. <laughs> but this year's the year. Josh just tried one on and it's way too small. This one shrunk a little bit. You're putting on sympathy weight for my pregnancy. <laughs> Just got all those gains, haven't I? Oh. Uh, uh, no, I think it went in a hot wash. Oh. It's 100% cotton. Well, on that note, we will leave you guys to it. Thank you guys for watching. All the Americans and Canadians watching this are like, what? What does that mean? Google it. Listen to the song. It's Bowie's current favorite right now, isn't it? So uh, didn't force it on her at all, did No, I? not. No. Just she organically took to it. She did. She actually <laughs> just asked for it. <laughs> she was like, play, it's coming home. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't say it like, what was that, Pikachu? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching again. We will have more nursery updates for you in the weeks to follow because it is getting real. The countdown is on big time. Countdown is on and we're going to start hitting up some adventures. We are.
Make sure you're subscribed. Oh, and um, Boris and Biden, I know you watch this. Open the borders, mate, please. Please, we want our families here for the birth. Open the borders, guys. Come on. Stop messing around. All right, guys. Happy Sunday. Happy Mwah, Sunday. We love you.